Hey there, welcome to Mix CG Arts. Today, we're going to explore the wonderful world of Blender and uncover the secrets to creating mesmerizing procedural gradients. So, get ready to roll up your sleeves and let's dive right in. In our scene, I've introduced the Suzanne Monkey model, but feel free to use any mesh of your choice. Currently, we're situated in the shading workspace. Press New to add a material to the object. To access the node menu, simply press Shift A. Next, search for the color ramp node. Select both nodes and press F to join them. Now, let's press Shift A once more to open the node menu. This time, we'll add the gradient texture node. Press F to join nodes. After enabling the node Wrangler add-in from the add-ons tab, you can quickly add texture coordinate and mapping nodes by pressing Ctrl T. These sliders on the color ramp node control the intensity or strength of the gradient applied to your mesh. Within the color ramp node, OU can choose different types of gradient blends by adjusting the interpolation menu. Try out different settings to see how they affect the gradient on your mesh. Similarly, with the gradient texture node, you can choose different gradient styles using the style of color blending menu. This allows you to create different gradients according to your mesh preferences. For instance, on this cylinder, I've chosen a linear gradient and rotated it 90 degrees along the y-axis using the mapping node. For this, I've applied a diagonal gradient texture. For this, I've utilized a spherical gradient texture. And for the scale, I've set it to 0.5 for the x, y, and z axis on the mapping node. Also, I've set the alpha value for the red slider, making it transparent. You can observe this in the render viewport shading. For this, I've added a radial gradient texture and adjusted the scale for the y-axis on the mapping node. I've also used the object setting in the texture coordinate. 